right guys thanks for tuning in and watching I'm back out here today uh, continuing on this cleanup project I got up and down this drainage ditch and uh, I know it's been a little while since I've posted a video on this the last video I posted if you didn't see that uh, posted <clears throat> within this last week about um, a new hobby that I'm about to get into and that's blacksmithing and I showed how I built a anvil stand and dressed my anvil getting ready for that. I still got to build a forge and that's something I plan on doing here pretty soon. I'd like to have a coal forge and possibly uh, a gas forge so that I can use either for that but <clears throat> that's uh, something I've been wanting to get into for a long time. I know nothing about it so it's going to be a learning experience. But anyway for today I'm, cl I'm continuing uh, cleaning out this kudzu and all this mess and thankfully it's still dry well that's kind of a double-edged sword it's bone dry here we desperately need rain but once it starts raining I won't be able to get in here and do any more of this so uh, if you look behind me here I'm working along this ditch and uh, I'm just getting closer and closer down this way towards the house eventually I'm gonna clean it all the way to the road so you can see what I've already got done here this ditch right here uh, let me show you something this is something else I need to work on so you see this mess going up through here all the way up there and what this does is this drains off into this other ditch. This is where my pool, where I backwash my pool. And uh, the previous owner just, I guess, I don't know if he dug this out or if it cut its own trench over time. But my plan is to put a French drain in here and have that pipe, which I've got to fix this pipe, I've hit it with the mower a couple times, but I'm gonna tie onto that pipe, run it over, and drop it down into that French drain, and just cover all this up so I can mow right over it, because this is an annoyance. But that'll be a future project. Don't know that it, it probably won't get done this, this year. It'll probably be next year before I can get to that. Well, so far everything is still looking good. The kudzu did try to come back up. Um, and then we got some frost this week and that killed it off. So it's it's probably done growing for this year. But uh, come spring, I'll have to get on that and spray it and keep it sprayed until it dies out. But the less of it I've got to have to spray, the better. So I can manage this. I can put my sprayer on the back of my tractor and throw the want, throw the spraying arms out and uh, just drive over it and spray it every two or three weeks or something until it finally kills it. But there's a lot of roots in the ground and that the roots store the food and the energy. So you get, it's gotta use that all up. You can't let it photosynthesize because it just makes more food. Anyway, so I'm gonna have to take a break and uh, I gotta go help my son and his fiance get some stuff moved over to their new house. They'll be getting married soon. And uh, she went ahead and moved in, but he's not moving in until they're married, as it should be. Um, too, many, too many young people think it's okay to live together and sleep together before they're married. And, uh, just shows the the downslide of our culture and how we've turned our hearts away from God and his word which is ultimately going to destroy our country but anyway I'll uh, 
when, when I get back, if I still got some daylight, I'll jump back on this and uh, continue this video. If not, it may be tomorrow or Tuesday or uh, t tomorrow's Sunday. It may be, I guess tomorrow afternoon I could work a little bit. Don't really like to on Sundays, but I could. Or Monday before I get this video finished up. But anyway, keep watching and I'll be back shortly. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon. I was not able to get back out here yesterday afternoon and do any more work, but um, we're home from church now, and uh, I'm going to get back out here and finish, finish up on what I started yesterday, getting some more of this kudzu and stuff cleared out. I want to show you real quick something that I built here a few weeks ago, and I did not make a video of it. I should have. I was kind of in a hurry doing it, but it's something my wife was wanting. And uh, it's a raised garden bed. So this is what I ended up with. That's four by eight and two foot tall. And built, built it basically with pressure treated lumber and uh, galvanized corrugated metal. I had seen this design on another YouTube channel but the guys were running their corrugated metal horizontally and I didn't like that because it's the strength comes in the vertical position there so uh, I chose to make more cuts and stand mine vertically but there's nothing in the bottom uh, this is simply just a box without a bottom in it and I laid down cardboard uh, for ground cover and then I had some old rotten firewood it was some old willow willow wood that's not worth anything anyway i piled that up in the bottom and then i filled it with uh i put mulch on top of that and then about the last three or four inches is topsoil and my wife has put some straw in here to try to protect her stuff but she's got some garlic and onions and some broccoli and then a couple strawberry plants over there that's getting a start um, those will be obviously you don't they don't produce this year but from everything she had researched that strawberries do best if you plant them in the fall and give them throughout the season to get their roots established and then come spring they'll produce more berries so we've never had any luck with strawberries in the past but we had always planted them in the spring so maybe that's where we went wrong we'll see Anyway, kind of like this little bed, and I'm planning on building some more of them. Uh, possibly have four or five of these to do all my gardening except for my corn and uh, watermelons and things like that. But uh, I like it. We're going to see how this does, and then uh, if it works out good, be building some more of them. But this run me, the materials run me around 100 bucks for all of this, so it wasn't too bad. And it was very simple build. And I'll, I'll throw some pictures in so you can see a little bit of the process there of how I built it.
guys. That's going to just about wrap it up for today. Um, can't do a whole lot. We'll be going back to church here in a little bit. What you saw me doing there, I was actually pushing, using my grapple to push those larger piles uh, back to the burn pile. I figured out that I can push a whole lot more than I can carry. If I, if I grab just grapplefuls and take them back there, it takes me sometimes 8, 10, 12 trips to get one of those piles. And uh, I was able, that first pile, I was able to push it all the way nonstop. Now that second pile was a lot bigger and I uh, had to actually put it down in low gear in second and uh, just kind of keep pushing it in sections. It had a lot of dirt in it too, so it made it heavier. But uh, that, that worked out pretty good. I still got a little bit back there I need to clean up. You can see it in the background back there. Um, and I'll get it moved my next my next go around but what I intend to do is come back out here with uh, take my grapple off and get my bucket and start working down these hills that are back here I don't know why these hills are here I don't know if at some point they done some excavation and this is where they piled all their dirt or if this was an attempt to bury some scrap building materials or I don't know what I'm gonna find when I start uh, excavating this out I hope nothing just dirt but uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna find broken glass and all kind of scraps I don't know we'll see but maybe not maybe it's just piles of dirt that's I, I don't I just don't understand why they're here they're just kind of they kind of go against the landscape like they were deliberately put here but anyway I got to get it all worked down and uh, get this cleaned up but let me show you what I'm talking about if we stand right here and I think at this angle you can probably see but you see how the hill, this comes down the hill here from that field and then I tell you what let me get more up on this hill I think this is a better angle there you can kind of see that rise right there makes no sense and then there's another one there uh, that ditch runs on the other side of that little hill right there runs around so it makes no sense why this hills here it looks like it was deliberately piled up there at one time and it makes me wonder why but I'm taking it down uh, it always it's very rough for one thing it's got a lot of holes potholes in it here and there I uh, can't really mow over it with my bush hog but eventually I want my pond to extend all the way from about that ridge right there at my fingertip all the way across and over in this area somewhere so that's got to go because I want to dig all this out and at some point I want it to become a pond so that's going to be a lot of work. So I'm gonna, next time, next video, I plan on taking my grapple off, putting my bucket on, and we'll start digging some of this out. Now I don't know what to do with the dirt at this point. I'm just going to have to pile it up somewhere else. But uh, I want to get it. I guess if nothing else, I'll pile it up back up this way and kind of spread it out this way build this build this up because this will become the bank of the pond eventually you can see here I've got a little gradual slope there I've started the dirt I pulled out of here I just kind of left right here but this this will get spread out I mean eventually I've got to figure out if I've got some clay in here or not if there's no clay then it's never going to hold water anyway but I think there's clay there I just got to get to it but yeah, anyway, it's coming along. That's what I've got done. Didn't get a... It doesn't seem like I got a whole lot done, but I sure did put in a whole lot of work. Uh, all of that down through there cleaned out. Cleaned out some more of that on the other side. Just working my way down. Okay, guys. Hey, appreciate you tuning in and watching my channel. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's been a while since I've done some 
tractor work, but we're getting back to it. And uh, we're going to keep chopping at this. It's kind of like eating an elephant. You got to do it one bite at a time. It's, it's a lot of little steps to get the overall accomplished, but we're going to keep working at it. If you like this kind of content, it's your first time watching my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, check out some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up button, like my channel, like my video, and uh, share it with your friends. And uh, that'll help promote my channel and push it, push my videos more towards the front so that other people can see them. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.